Hello everyone, Willie Cuz here, and this is the death of Marshal Ney. Michel Ney was one of Napoleon's most trusted and loyal men, fighting alongside him through many conflicts of the Napoleonic Wars. When Ney heard that Napoleon had escaped his exile on Elba and was returning to France, he was determined to keep France at peace and show his loyalty to King Louis XVIII. But I promise your majesty I'll bring him back to Paris in an iron cage. However, Napoleon was aware of his plans and sent him a letter stating, I shall receive you as I did after the Battle of Moscow. And when Ney finally did come face to face with Napoleon, he did not capture him, but instead joined him. <laughs> And with this, the monarchy fled, and Napoleon once again became the Emperor of France. Ney had even posted a public proclamation that urged any French soldiers to abandon the king and support their Emperor, Napoleon. These victories of theirs, however, were to be short-lived, as the Battle of Waterloo was soon to take place and Marshal Ney himself would make a terrible tactical decision while Napoleon was off the field. When the Duke of Wellington pulled his forces back behind the hill they were positioned on, Marshal Ney would see this, believing it was a full-scale retreat. Wellington's retreating! Wellington's retreating! Leo, follow me! Ney led his cavalry on a disastrous charge directly into Wellington's anti-cavalry formations on the other side of the hill. Withdraw to square! Shoot up the horses! Pile up the horses! After Napoleon was defeated at Waterloo, dethroned, and exiled for the second and final time, Ney was arrested. His court-martial decided that they did not want to deal with the political mess and declared themselves unfit to pass judgment on him. So instead, Ney would be sent to the Chamber of Peers to be tried for treason against France and the monarchy. In a clever attempt to save Ney's life, his lawyer argued that Ney was actually Prussian and therefore could not be judged by a French court for treason as Ney's hometown had now been annexed by Prussia, according to the Treaty of Paris of 1815. But Ney halted this attempt by interrupting his lawyer and stating, I am French, and I will remain French. And with that, his fate was sealed. Ney would receive the death penalty by firing squad in Paris, with 137 votes for death, 17 for deportation, five abstained, and only a single vote for acquittal. The execution was carried out on the 7th of December, 1815, near the Luxembourg Gardens. He refused to wear a blindfold and requested only that he be allowed to give the order to fire himself. His final words leading up to that moment are as follows. Soldiers, when I give the command to fire, Fire straight at my heart. Wait for the order. It will be my last to you. I protest against my condemnation. I have fought a hundred battles for France, and not one against her. Soldiers, fire! And that was the death of Marshal Ney an execution which deeply divided the French public. It was also an example to Napoleon's other generals and marshals, many of whom were eventually exonerated by the Bourbon monarchy. I hope you guys did enjoy this quick history lesson from me, Willie Cuz, and I hope you'll subscribe and stick around for some more. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. God bless.